crowd. Oh, what a, it's exciting, yeah. very you know, exciting. You all know that we get tons of requests for makeovers, but every now and again, we get a request that really sort of stands out, like this one we received early in January. Let me read a bit of this letter. Okay. I am 50 years young, the mother of two grown sons, and have never worn makeup, with the exception of a touch of lipstick, mainly as a teenager. I have always been timid when it comes to makeup. I have not been to a hairdresser to have my hair cut and styled for many years, and I wear very conservative, tailored clothing. Well, sweet. it is sweet. We are experts at attitudes when it comes to showing women how to look and feel their best, at least we think we are. <laughs> and here with us is Martha Brown from North Haven, Connecticut, to be transformed during the next hour. Come on down Come on here, down, Martha. Martha. Come in the middle. Come over here. Now, stand right here. Let's take Martha. a look. Martha. Look at how tall and lovely. Why now? Why, after all these years, have you decided you'd like a new look? I just wanted to change. Yeah. I figured that I've been going on like this for so many years, and I felt that it was time for a change. Yeah. I'd just Good like to you. try something new. Good. Yeah. Fun. Fun. 50 years old <laughs> and, and starting a new. All new. Yeah, I love right. that. Okay, Are now, you? we brought for Martha John Atchison who is the hair whiz yes. and makeup artist, Joey Mills. Come on John, in here, you two. You, John. Hi, John. How are you, darling? John Hi, Joey. Hello. Hi, Hello. Joey. Hello. All right. Your hand, love. Come John, on what are you going to do to Martha? Well, Martha, you know, she has free hair. I oh, like are you not on mic? I don't know. But Let anyway, me do this we're, anyway. <laughs> here, we're going to cut happen? Martha. I hope she's ready for this change that she's asking for. Are you? I'm ready. It. She's Come ready. She's ready. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be short. Okay. All right? All right. And we're going to leave the gray in because I think gray hair is fabulous, but you have to have a great haircut with gray hair. She has a good okay? face. Oh, yeah. yeah. Great yeah. face, good cheekbones. Yeah. And the great smiling, body. smiling eyes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. she just yeah. smiles. So Eager. Beautiful. So I want to bring all of that out. Good. And this granny bun. We're going to get rid of that. <laughs> okay? A little bun. Look at your baby. Look at this baby right. face. Yeah, we're going to take away oh. all of that. Change your look. Mm. That's good. Joey? Oh, Joey. what am I going to do? Yeah. If everybody's dream is how does one really wake up in the morning. You know what I mean? That you know, dream of how me. would you really want to look <laughs> oh, when you wake up what in the morning? That I'm just going to do oh, her way. Everybody looks when they wake up in the morning when they're a movie star. Oh, but it takes 15 nice. minutes. That's great. Nice. Now watch carefully so you can do I this. I will. Now everybody's All right. waiting. We're going to send everyone off and we're going to check in with you throughout the show. Have a good time, Martha. Thank you very much. Enjoy this. Thank you're going to right? enjoy it. All right, guys. Take See Martha you later. with you. Goodbye. Take care of her. Yeah, what else do you, you want to get back you up here? You want to go up here? Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Come baby. into my parlor. Right? Joe, thank you. Yeah. This is always fun. This is always fun to watch the transformation because it really does happen. And it's now, so incredible when it well, happens. We have a, um, an interesting segment. I'm going to do it today. It's yeah. called Mentoring. And it's for us ladies to learn how we can get further ahead in the, in the work that we do or pick a new job and how we as women can help each other. It's interesting. very, very yeah. important. Yeah. Yeah. We have fruit fashions. What is uh, fruit fashion? Well, it's banana shoes, uh, tomato handbags, and it sounds crazy. It is. But when the producers went to pick up some of these things for our show, yeah. the line was out the door. They couldn't even get in. The You're place was kidding. packed. It is so popular, and we have to tell you the latest things in fashion. So <laughs> you don't eat stuff, anymore. You just I'll wear be it. doing this. <laughs> oh God! But now right. for what we've all been waiting all right. for. All this week, uh, we'll be meeting the sexiest men in the soaps. Yeah. And finding out all the good stuff, what they like to do in their spare time, what yeah. they love in women, yeah. and what they find sexy. Yeah. Today, we're talking to the man voted TV Records' favorite East Coast hunk. Mm -hmm. okay? He plays yeah. Max Holden, the ambitious adventurer on ABC's One Life to Live. Let us all welcome one of the sexiest guys around, James Dupri... Oh, there he is. There you are. Good looking. Come and sit with us. I'll come to your table, too. Yeah, don't. It's my water. You get orange? You, you get water, I get orange. You get orange. Yeah. Now, I have to ask you this. What was is that? It, oh, that's your it. fans. Oh, wow. They're berserk. They're hey. berserk. Do you know that this guy, when he was a kid, was short and fat? You said that. Is that it. true? Yes. Is it really? It is. Yes, of course it's true. How long yes. were you short and how long were you uh, fat? Not that long. <laughs> Just in the important years, right when I discovered <laughs> when women. When you were a 
<laughs> no, when I discovered women, it was I was just hitting puberty, and it's like I was five foot one, 150 pounds. Truly. So, so I, yeah, yeah. So you were a chunk. Go out for those little chunks when you're about 12, 13. <laughs> uh, they grow real fast. Uh, that's how I got into theater, was the fact that I had a mad crush on the girl in my science class, and she had to lead in the school play, and they needed... I played a lion. I'll I, bet. Yeah, I, I had three lions in the summer night screen. And, no, Brown like, girl, kind of kind of rolled on the floor. So, was I mean, she that, short and fat, too? No, no, oh. she was very... Yeah. She was very pretty. That's why she wanted nothing to do with me. I bet. Did you and ever see uh, her again? I, oh, yeah, I saw her. She's a, she's a lawyer in Washington, D.C. She went to Harvard, and then she's a lawyer in Washington. And I was uh, doing an autograph session in Washington. All these people were lined and up for autographs. Came? And the guard came over and said, uh, this uh, lady over here says she knows you. And I went, oh. Oh, my oh, goodness. No. But it was her, so I called her up, and she sat next to me, and she just laughed the whole time. She I couldn't bet. believe it. Oh, what a cute story it that is. Funny. That's great. But I grew eight inches one summer. In one summer, you How grew eight you? inches when you uh, grew that much. Thirteen. I was I was five one when I left the seventh grade. Five nine when I. Your mother must have been grade. so relieved. Now you um, are Max Holden, as we all know, on One Life to Live. Okay. You did something a little okay. different so. for okay. your audition that we thought was very interesting. Mm. Tell us about how you got this job. Oh, where do you want to start? It was a long process. It well, with Tina. Uh, what you did Tina. there? Well, my audition started in Los Angeles. I read a couple times in L.A. and then I went, uh, then I taped in Los Angeles and they flew me out to New York to do a screen test with Tina and uh, with the four other finalists from around the country and whatever. And uh, it was just an actor's choice. The thing was, the script was, Tina, I'm so excited. And she says, Max, I've never seen you so wired. <laughs> I mean, those are the first two lines. And then, well, from wherever, but... Uh, all these guys kept walking in and going, Tina, I'm so excited. Yeah, like death. And she'd go, Max, I've never seen you so wild. <laughs> so I, so I, I ran in, I yelled, I screamed, I picked her up and spun her around three times. And so she went, I've never seen you so wired. So it, and you got the job. Yeah. You're married. I yes. don't want to upset you all, but he is married. You just had your third anniversary. Yes. Your wife is also an actress, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. How does she feel about you being this big, sexy <laughs> soap star now? Does it make her crazy? With, well, with she, such great teeth. Well, she... Well, yeah. D, down. <laughs> down. <laughs> down. And no braces either. It's right. great genetics. Okay. Uh, that's very right. lucky. Uh, no problem. She, it drives her nuts, is does what it? it does. Yeah. I bet. Uh, I mean, she, of course, she found me sexy before. All these other people did. Uh, she didn't need television to make me attractive to her, right. you know, because I was out of work when she met me, and she had a career going. So oh, she was interesting. All of her friends were like, "You sure he's not marrying you for the money?" Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was like she was making the big step down, and she's on a show called Hee Haw, and everyone there marries. Uh, well, you know, Linda Jenner married Bruce Jenner, right. who's a millionaire. Marianne Gordon married Kenny Rogers, who's a millionaire. And she Arby married, married you. A millionaire. And, right. Misty married the out-of-work waiter. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Now, you're very much on top. Mm -hmm. How is she doing? Is that a, is that a problem She's doing fine. In, your, uh, in your relationship now? The real problem was uh, her coming to New York and starting all yeah. over because all of her Tough. connections are in Los Angeles. Yeah. She's born, raised there. I mean, she's been in the business since she was about 17 yeah. in Los Angeles. And for me to uproot her from a house she's lived in for 12 years and oh, to stick right. her in a one-bedroom apartment in Manhattan is... Oh. Uh, Tough. Well, it was <laughs> it was a little hard getting her well, used to it, but now she's doing very well. Good. Maybe we can see why she doesn't mind it so much. She can never we have sees a clip? me. <laughs> yeah, she never sees I'm me. Not TV. Holding in action here. Let's yeah. look at what you want. You might get caught up in the heat of the moment. Lukewarm is about all I could expect. From I you. thought so. You're afraid. Stop saying that. I am not afraid. Then why won't you do the scene with me? Because I already have a leading man. Well. Yes, that's right, and he's and he's very good. So why don't you just go and take a hike? I can't stay in town any longer. I've got to get back to the ranch. I don't want to leave you, but I have to. Oh, so, I have to go back to the ranch. I don't want to leave you behind. I just want to do what's best for you. Then don't leave. It's not until you make me feel complete. As you only know how to. Thank you and good night. <laughs> uh, are you very I'm happy water. on one life? <laughs> you wouldn't be interested in coming over on Another World, would you? Another World uh, passed their chance up. <gasps> did they? I did. Did you audition the, for I've, them? Um, 
Procter & Gamble, originally I was going to be a Tarzan sort of character on Guiding Light. They were reading me for that, but instead I did a commercial with Elle McPherson, which is, yeah. I pass up any, well, almost anything, <laughs> to work with Elle. Uh, but no, Another World brought me out for two characters. They flew me out from Los Angeles twice. I and can't they, they, believe them. I'll they, speak to them about they were, it tomorrow. They were trying to find a, they were trying to find a role for me. Uh, I, I can't remember the two characters' names, but one of them didn't last, and the other one I don't remember what happened. Unbelievable. No, I, I tested twice for Another World, and then that's how I got on to uh, One Life to Live. ABC yeah. wanted nothing to do with me. They said, eh, we saw him a couple of years ago. He was a geek. Uh, <laughs> was a geek. Yeah, that's basically it. They didn't You're see that cute about no, your show. So they, uh, and my agent said, well, listen, NBC's going to snap him up. Oh, we did one of those, yeah. Did one yeah, of those, we so, so we'll see him. Yeah, and they that always want what they that think they can That got me in the door, have. and all of a yeah. sudden, 